This is Kestrel and her two lambs, one of which I resuscitated. And they're stargazers. There's, they're either were born with a virus or a genetic something or other, so that they stare upwards. And this was the one that I resuscitated. He's not as bad as his brother. It's not listeria. It's some, I think it's some virus that he might have. Isn't that right, poor fella? He can't figure out how to work, but walk in a straight line. It's very disturbing, but I'm turning them out because Kestrel is doing such a great job in looking after them. Aren't you? Come on. Come this way. That's full of, come on. So that's the lamb that I resuscitated. Come on, Kestrel. Your other lamb's with me. Oh, she's looking for the lamb that I have in my hand. <laughs> come on. Okay. So what's wrong with these lambs has nothing to do with how they were born. It has all to do with, I don't know, something. But they've got a nice paddock. So this is the one that's worse off. This was the second born. Leave it, dogs, leave it. And he has this, hey, dogs, come on, leave him alone. It's not Listeria. He was born this way. And they're healthy otherwise. And Kestrel is a really good mama. And the one that I resuscitated is this one. Come on, Kestrel. No, 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 don't go back in there. Ah! No! No, no, no! Come on, Kestrel. Come on. Leave it. Dogs, leave it. The one I resuscitated is that one, and it's much better than the one that I didn't resuscitate. Leave it. Leave it. Java. Your other lamb is out there. There, she's found her other lamb. Java, come back. So I'm going to... Uh, uh, Inca, leave it. See, it's very disturbing when the lamb settles. So I'm gonna leave them be and she can look after her lamb. But it's very, very strange. I've never, ever seen this. I've seen it in a sheep or a lamb with listeria, but it was born fine and I had to nurse them for ages under the yo. Okay, come on, leave it be. Come on. It could be a tiny bit of, see, it just, it is disturbing, but there's nothing to be done.
you this morning, lady. Or rather, how are your lambs? Much better. You are so much better. Wow. So that was an injection of steroids has improved that lamb incredibly so it isn't spinning like a top. This is the lamb that I saved the life of, which is much better. This one is, oh, so I consulted with the vet and he said some steroids. So both of them have had an injection of steroids. And this is the second lamb and the really bad one. And it's a kind of brain virus that they're born with or they get it in, in utero. And see, he's still pretty bad, but definitely an improvement from <laughs> yesterday. Much better. This is so wonderful to see. So much better. Day three. And they're going to get steroid injections again. But the really bad lamb, which was the second lamb that was born, that one over there, is so much better than it was. I put them in the shed at night just so that I don't have to come out and check if it gets lost or stuck somewhere. This is uh, fantastic. So much better. I'm getting another uh, injection, less steroids this time, to inject them both. But, oh, the lamb is so much better. It's brilliant. Day three, I think this is, or day four. I can't remember. My brain is all of a befuddle but they're doing so well compared to what they were. I called them stargazers. You can see it's still got a bit of that looking up so much better. Okay, so much better, even more better. Your lambs, your stargazers are stargazing a lot less. That's just fantastic. They've had their second injection of steroids. This one in particular was the really, really bad one. That was the second born. The first born that I resuscitated is that one. So it's still doing a little bit of stargazing, but not as much. And its sibling is pretty much stopped stargazing. Look at that. Great stuff. I put them in at night just in case this one falls foul of falling in a ditch or between branches or something and I can't hear its screams. Where's your babies? Where's your babies? Come on. Come on, Crystal. Come on. Where's your babies? Come on, babies. They've done so well to get better. Your babies are being left behind. Can you get your babies? Come on, babies. Come on. For two lambs who had a kind of virus in the brain, they have improved incredibly. Come on, babies. Your mama's gone this way. Come on, babies. Come on, babies.
babies. <laughs> Can you get your babies? <laughs> So much better. Okay, I'm gonna shut this gate. So I don't want you or the babies to go back out that way. Okay, come on, Crystal. I mean, not Crystal, what are you called? Come on, come on, girl, come on. Come on, out a girl. Come on, you get to be turned out with all your mates. Come on. Come on. You don't want to do it without some nuts, huh? You were just not gonna do it without nuts. If I get a bucket of nuts, will you follow me? So I can turn you out in the field with all your pals. Wouldn't you like that? Your young were such hard work this spring. They're finally going to be able to go out into the field. Two relatively healthy lambs, I hope. Okay, I'm going to get a bucket. Yep, magic bucket. Works every time. Come on. Now, we not need your... Ow! Don't step on my foot. Don't step on my foot. <coughs> Heading towards the little gate. You still want the bucket? What's in the bucket, huh? Come on. Come on. <laughs> you two are doing so well. Now you're going to be integrated back into your flock. There you go. Very exciting for you babies. Hopefully they'll be doing okay. <laughs> <laughs> 